Hello and welcome to my third tutorial. First I want to thank somebody for suggesting Hypercam. I uh, got it, I removed the watermark because I don't like software that have um, watermarks or anything else that show they are not bought. So no watermark, no nothing. Ok, let's get uh, started with this domain. Uh, make it look like a PC chassis or, or a fish tank, you know? Everybody loves fish tanks, why the hell do I keep saying this? Ok, uh, go into wireframe mode by pressing Z, duplicate it, uh, right click it to rem to make it remain in that area, uh, now select the edges with ALT and SHIFT, you know? Select uh, edge loops. Uh, bring them down a bit, ok, uh, you can do your obstacle any way you want. Ok, and now I add, uh, let's add an icosphere, subdivision 2, and scale it a bit, you know. I uh, can't do this in perspective, going into auto graphic. Ok, that's good, that's good enough. Uh, ok, now let's check everything. Ok, seems to be alright. Now, I'm going to show you this time how inflow and fluid works. Select the smaller mesh, the, the modified cube, ok? Select enable and obstacle. You don't have to do anything but select obstacle in here. Now duplicate the icosphere and put it at the other end of the tank select enable and in inflow now select the z or whichever force you need to to interact with this fluid uh, i will put about minus 0.15 to to flow down and now select the other icosphere select enable and just press fluid you will see the difference select the bigger cube the tank uh, select enable press enable and uh, select domain put the resolution as high as you want let's say 64 and time about 0.68 ok check if there are any other things in here let's say temporary files. No, just this blend, an autosave feature, yeah. And now select bake once you check everything is alright. It's alright. Now bake. It requires 4.41 megabytes of RAM. To me it's not such a big deal since I have 3 gigabytes. 2 real and 1 virtual. Yeah, I like having RAM. And running on an on an 8800 GTS 3 320, I would say Blender works perfectly, but it doesn't. It's the CPU that matters. Either have it on a GeForce 4 or the latest GeForce 8 series, I don't think it rather counts. So, next time you want to upgrade to make Blender work better, get a CPU dual core, you know, whatever you wish. Ok, so the bake is about finished, press escape once you get tired of it and delete the fluid, the original fluid things, you know. A bit of difficulty, ok, delete them, uh, go in from preview go to final if you can if this slows down your your playback, leave it to preview and set smooth. Now press Alt A to playback and look at it. It looks perfect. Well, almost perfect. It's it's still something rather primitive. If you like, you can subsurf this uh, cube. Oops, wrong modifier. Subsurf and uh, something like a bonus uh, go into edit mode select all faces and press shift E and drag your cursor this is crease 
how subsurf affects your uh, mesh. Check if everything's alright. Yeah, seems pretty much alright. Apply. And for the first time, let's render. Okay, let's do a close up. Should look horrible. Let's increase the energy a bit. Oops, too much. Okay, that's okay. Good. Whatever. Press F12, and there you have it a fluid. Now, for an extra bonus, yeah, I'm, I'm full of surprises, I know. Uh, go into sequence or press control right arrow three times I guess three or two I don't I don't know uh, important note check your uh, end time this is going to be say 50 okay now include your scene press space scene and draw drag it to frame one okay for this test I'm going to disable shadows refresh and add exactly glow. Everybody loves glow. Okay, uh, press N and select whatever properties you want. Drag and slide, you know, everything you want. So this is going to be certainly nice. I disable oversampling, get it to 50% and see if I can do it live. Now look at that, almost live it renders and previews okay now set the materials if you if you want okay say uh, you want it to look like water enable full full white ray transparency IOR IOR water does have 1.26 I guess I don't know I forgot already uh, set the alpha value very very little Depth, I recommend 5 if you want it transparent all the way. Shaders, specularity, increase it. Water does tend to reflect light. Okay, and uh, subsurface scattering, mm, I don't think so. Nah, no way. Okay, and for the rubber thing, let's make it look rubbery. No, no. Don't get me, don't call the FBI, I said rubber E. Okay, add some textures. Why is it taking so long? Hmm? It was going to be just uh, a fluid. Okay, input it as you would like. Let's say this looks horrible, but it. Oh, look at that, it looks almost nice. Okay, refresh it and see how it all goes it looks magnificent okay now very important if you ignored me all the way now hear this do sequence that is the most important part over sampling shadows oh no no no, no shadows 100 percent and most importantly motion blur never ever uh, enable motion blur to a fluid simulation it just doesn't work, it takes up to five times as more time to to do nothing. Okay? So no motion blur in, uh, in fluid simulations. Okay, look at it, it looks magnificent again. Okay, and um, that's about it. I'll present you the work later. See ya, and hope I didn't take too much time. My accent is fading away and I hate that. See ya.